Today we're finding who has the world's best chicken wing. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the number one rated buffalo wing place in the world. Which is literally just to start with competitors ranging from Gordon Ramsay, to every fast food wing spot, to hot ones, to gold chicken wings, and much more. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Duff's Famous Wing, which is one of the original places serving buffalo wings. It's currently rated as the number one spot for buffalo wings in the world. Oh, perfect, thank you so much. And sitting in front of us, we have 10 of the most beautiful buffalo wings I have ever seen, which are made by first using the highest quality chicken wings, frying them until crispy in vegetable oil, and then combining hot sauce and a heap of butter in a large pan until melted, and lastly, tossing those chicken wings in that mixture. And honestly, just taking a look at these wings, like they have that perfect crispiness on the top. They've also taken on the color of the mild hot sauce, and I mean, they are just freaking glistening over here. Also on the side here, we we have ranch, blue cheese, carrots, and celery. This is how literally every buffalo wing drop should taste like. Duff's, I know you're famous, but man, this is one of the top spots. Now, though Duff's has supposedly the world's best buffalo wings, I was interested to see how they compared to one of the best chefs in the world of Gordon Ramsay's famous wing. What are the Hellfire wings? They sound a little bit scary. You're not sensitive, but you're just spicy. Right. You have to sweat a little bit. Come yeah. On. Ladies and gentlemen, in front of us, we have the Hellfire wings, which is made by first marinating it with tamarind paste, palm sugar, chili flakes, garlic, and a little bit of oil, having it rest for 24 hours, and then glazing it one more time before throwing it in the oven for 30 minutes. And let me tell you, just taking a look at these wings, they look like absolute perfect. With being a super nice and bulky size, but also the sauce is so well marinated in there that it literally looks like the wing is sweating. Of course, it's garnished as well with blue cheese and carrots. Oh, Gordon. Never thought I would be saying this during a chicken wing video, but I am both excited and a little bit scared, especially because Gordon is literally staring us right in the face. All right, let me tell you, Gordon Ramsay, He's lived up to the hype. These wings from the outside glistening marinade to the juiciness of that meat to even the freaking like blue cheese ingrained in there. Gordon, you've made yourself another fan. Now, although Gordon's wings were some of the best I've ever had, they were definitely pricey. So I took to the streets to find the world's cheapest wings. I have never seen anything like this before. One, I've never seen this many chickens in a place before. And I mean, you just have a massive bonfire on the side of the road here, man. <laughs> what is the taste of the wings? Is it spicy? Is it sweet? What exactly? It's spicy. It's spicy. It's straight spicy. It's, spicy. it's gonna be a hot wing. All right, so what type of sauces do you use here? I'm using dynamite sauce. Dynamite sauce. I like how you think right there. Barbecue sauce, American garden. Oh, of course, yeah. Special Emily chutney. Raita sauce. Oh, right. Raita sauce, yogurt sauce. Okay, yogurt sauce. Uh, smiling for you. <laughs> a little smiling for you. All right, now we have the street chicken wings. Here. It's interesting because there's there's multiple different sauces on top, and yeah. normally you'll see maybe like one like barbecue. Sauce. Here you don't have one, you don't have two, but you have three, three sauces, sauces that are completely different. First dip in the yogurt sauce here. For this, uh, I will give it ten out of ten. Wow, I'm right up there with you, man. It's perfect for me. Cooking's perfect. The sauces are a game changer. Yeah. I'm a fan. Now, most wing places are just known for their delicious chicken wings. But there's one that's known for their insanely rude waiters. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dick's Last Resort, where everyone wears this big white cap with a personalized insult, and where the staff are, let's say, a bit abnormal. Why are you yelling? I'm about to yell! Excuse me, can I just get some math? Dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. This place is a lot more intense than I thought it was. What is the hat? What? Did you write something on it? What, what'd you write on it? Oh. <laughs> oh size gone to my beat. Awesome. Thank you. I accidentally spilled water over here. Words that we can't say are fucking retard, uh, and like those are what I want to say. Are, just I'll, stop, I'll, stop your way. I'll, I'll, I'll put my condom over here. Oh, you actually have a condom. They blow up the biggest. How else do you blow up a dick balloon? <laughs> this is not the place to make accidents. It's sitting in front of us, we don't have a plate. We have a bucket of chicken wings. Although not being the absolute best wing in the world. This is a fun place to go to. Now there's many that call fast food wings like KFC 
the world's best. So I took my search to every cheap fast food chicken wing. All right, so we got KFC, Buffalo Wild Wings, and Wingstop. And honestly, just looking at the bags, Wingstop, although having the exact same order, six piece combo, there is a massive difference. I mean, would you just take a look at the size of this bag? It looks like we just went like shopping or something. But anyway, in front of us, we have Buffalo Wild Wings, six piece mango habanero. Of course, we have the six piece, what looks like boneless buffalo wings from KFC. Wingstop six piece, but they added the seventh of three buffalo, three atomic. Honestly, so scared of this right now, but I'm gonna leave that into the last one because I don't want my mouth to be burned off before that. And honestly, just comparing the three, I would say wing stops is the most aesthetically pleasing. Like there's way more sauce on each one of the wings. The wing sizes seem to be fairly large. Like just a size comparison of wing stop versus KFC. The KFC one looks a little bit, to be honest, a little bit sad. Like here you can see the real bone. You can see the massive amount of meat. And on the KFC, I, I really hope these are boneless because I don't see any bone in there. And the Buffalo Wild Wings, I mean, they, they look pretty solid. Not what I was expecting. The wing spot one was spot on. Super fresh, super delicious. The KFC, um, <laughs> to be completely honest, it tasted like a boneless wing, but there was actually a bone in there. Like it's almost sad to compare the wing stop versus the KFC. The wing stop is literally twice the size. And the Buffalo Wild Wings, although definitely being a level under the wing stops, it was solid. So wing stop number one, Buffalo Wild Wings number two, KFC number three. Now definitely the most desired chicken wings in the world are thousand dollar gold chicken wings. However, many say they aren't exactly worth the thousand dollar price tag. So I found a way to have these gold chicken wings be the cheapest you've ever had with first taking your wings and making a gold butter by combining just a bit of butter with 24 karat gold dust into a saute pan, then combining that with honey barbecue sauce and sauteing the wings in the gold butter until nicely seared. After you put that in the oven for 30 minutes and then in a large bowl, add some more gold dust and of course top it with 24 karat gold. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the cheapest golden wings in the world. And just taking a look at these wings, it's definitely the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. With the wings looking more like a piece of jewelry than food. But to be honest, nobody can argue the beauty of how this looks. But now we have two questions. How do they taste and how are they so cheap? I'm eating gold. I can't even see the color of my lips anymore. I, I totally understand why people would find this cool. And in terms of the price, I also find it incredibly weird that restaurants charge so much for this. Like literally the 24 karat edible gold you can buy on Amazon for super cheap. Making the price of these wings almost less than other wings. So the price literally absurd at a restaurant. But if you want to do it at home, it's a pretty cool experience. Now, most chicken wings are served with a side of hot sauce. However, this restaurant serves with a massive pot of cheese. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the craziest chicken wing restaurant I have ever been to. With the name literally being translated to butthole and with the logo being a chicken butt. Oh, hello. Cool, wonderful. Wow. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so sitting in front of us, we have a dish named Cheese Island, which is literally a pool of mozzarella cheese stacked up with a ridiculous amount of chicken wings and french fries. Like, just check this out. The entire bottom is lined with mozzarella cheese, beautiful Korean wings, and then heaps and heaps of french fries. And although this is the most ridiculous but amazing thing I've ever seen, the chicken is also high quality as well, which is made like no other chicken wings with first combining salt, pepper, garlic, and ginger powder with water and marinating the chicken overnight to absorb the flavor, then coating the chicken with cornstarch and baking powder, and then frying not once, but twice until extra juicy. And the idea here is that in the Korean culture, people think everything tastes better with cheese. So I've never tasted chicken wings with cheese before, and honestly, this thing just looks like a freaking dream. Like, I don't know how this is a real thing. And we do have an active flame going, so the cheese is melting right now. So just coat the chicken wings. So just Take a look at that cheese right there. So delicious chicken, crazy cheesy, something that literally blows my mind and that looks like a dream. This right here, this is a contender. Now, Hot Ones is without a doubt the most popular chicken wing entertainment on the planet. But can their wings and sauces compete with other world's best chicken wings? Or is it just hype? So to settle this debate, we have three of the Hot Ones sauces here. Of the classic hot sauce, the medium Los Calientes, and of course, the last dab. That are all made by first seasoning the wings with garlic powder, smoked paprika, and salt. And then using a saute pan by putting oil, the wings, and a bit of butter 
butter and rolling the wings around until there's a nice sear. Then to finish cooking, you place the wings in the oven for 15 minutes and immediately after, you put the hot one sauces on with a bit of butter and then you toss. And just taking a look at these three different types of wings with the only difference being the sauce, it's crazy how different they all look. With the classic looking more like almost a salsa, the Los Calientes looking like it has a tiny bit more volume, and then the Apollo, the last dab, it looks like the chicken is just consumed in that sauce now. And honestly, the first two wings here, the classic, it's solid. It's good if you don't want heat. And the Los Calientes definitely having a lot more heat on there. However, this Apollo bite with the tradition putting an extra drop on the chicken is definitely scaring me. Oh my gosh, people are not kidding with the heat on this thing. My forehead is literally on fire. But honestly, in terms of these wings, I know I'm not a chef. I made them as best as I could. They were decent. The sauce, off the charts good. It's getting a good valuation here. Yeah. Stop doing shit. <laughs> Just eat your freaking two, two more wings. I'll tap you on and I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for you to go. You're not getting any more water. You don't have to. Oh. You're and you're spilling. <laughs> How does that? How does that happen? Atomic wing. Oh boy. Oh gosh. That was only one bite and I got three more. <laughs>